Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tsarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising Weekly Tsarot and Lenormand reading for um, December 31st to January 6th, 2019 So, uh, that being said, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you that that is a general reading for Capricorn star sign, therefore, is going to resonate differently with every single different Capricorns. Uh, so, in this video, I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, um, as well as I'm going to give a, a few examples. Uh, but at the end, you have to align the, this reading to your personal situation, as your situation is going to be different from the Capricorn that it is your neighbor. Now, if you want your situation to be analyzed just like I'm doing for the examples uh, in this video, then uh, you go for a personal reading and for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you will find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So, uh, wow, that is quite so far. That is quite of a, a, a tough week that you're going to have here, Capricorns. It does look like that... Um, <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm, as I'm looking at these cards, I think that that is most likely career-oriented car, uh, career oriented cards. And uh, they involve kind of arguments. Uh, not with someone that you work with, but with a competition. It doesn't look like that it's going to be with co-workers of your behalf. <clears throat> it's going to be over a third party people that are kind of influencing your work. So, uh, that could be, for example, <clears throat> a people from your company that has nothing to do with your project, but in the same time, you know, for one or another reason, they are sabotaging your project. Maybe because your project is sitting on their way. It could be that... Uh, <clears throat> you are messing around with the wrong people as well. It's just you have to be very careful throughout the week uh, whom you are working with and in generally whom you are messing with as well. The Seven of Wands here as a general topic of the week, it does point to that competition. It does point that you need to guard your ground. You need to guard what you have achieved until this very moment, your success your benefits and etc etc now the thing with the seven of wands is that everybody is playing dirty i mean your competition is gonna play dirty uh the people that you work with as well or that work around you are gonna play dirty now usually uh this infiltration if i may express it that way happens through gossips that is the most uh common way i mean for example a gossip uh, about you, it starts spreading around that it is uh, containing a, a fraudulent statements, and usually what one do is just to ignore it. Well, the more you ignore it, the more is going to escalate. So, in that specific case, what you need to do here it's a, uh, a rather heroic at attempts and heroic actions in order to um, diminish, destroy, or whatever word you wanna you wanna use your competition or your rivalries as well throughout that particular week. So you will have enemies, Capricorns, that they don't want you there. It is basically what that card points. They don't want you at the place you are. And it seems that they're going to pull out some surreptitious actions or surreptitious intentions so they can uh, jeopardize your position. Will they be able to succeed? No, I don't think so. But yet, that doesn't mean that they aren't gonna go. They aren't gonna make um, your your time hard. The, the the justice card here into the core position. It only points one thing, and this is the card to why this is happening. Well, it is because you did the right thing, because you are on the right path, because you took the right decision, and that place people who are used to uh, to grow through um, shady schemes on someone else's back to be carried you know or uh, through lies and etc etc that puts them into uncomfortable position that actually jeopardizes their growth and that's why 
they will kind of like do something to backlash on you so you have to be very careful throughout that week uh, again <clears throat> how you play your cards. With the Justice card here, it will be uh, wise that you are accountable first and foremost towards yourself. If you feel, you know, that um, you are treated unfair in the sense that someone is uh, kind of like uh, taking recognition on your behalf or on your back while they have done nothing fruitful for the project you have worked upon, then you have to make the world know about it, you know, even if that may uh, escalate some arguments, it can mess escalate some wrangles, I mean, the truth is the truth, the, um, the proof is a proof, and uh, ultimately, you know, you are going to end up in in a position of an upper hand but if you again keep a silent treatment uh, to the wrangles and to the confrontations that will escalate your situation quite severe so what we do have with these couple of cards right is that yeah I mean you're gonna be attacked maybe from multiple sides right but should you be true to your cause either relationship or career wise then it's basically these people will not be able to bring you down from your place. Is it going to be easy? Unlikely. But will you be able to be successful? Yeah. I, but however, there are conditions to it here with the Ten of Swords. We're going to go there in a second. Now, if this isn't about career and it is not about a, a either jealous co-workers or uh, people that are building up their success behind your back using you for that purpose, and if this is about a relationship here, these cards unfortunately could, could indicate a, a third party. Not a love triangle, however. That third party could be, uh, let's say, that uh, jealous woman that wants your man or the jealous guy that wants your woman. And yet your woman or your guy doesn't want them, but this doesn't stop them to infiltrate rela the relationship and to create shenanigans, predispositions for fights in the relationship itself and etc. etc. Like this completely unnecessary email or this completely unnecessary um, SMS that they could send to one of you so the other can see it and from there you know the seed of uh, uh, <clears throat> the seed of arguments is, is planted and uh, these arguments could escalate again you have to be accountable toward yourself and toward your position and situation so you can be a uh, cold-blooded basically regarding those kind of um, situations and you should not allow your emotions to dictate your actions. Your actions should be dictated only by the pure logic. The difficulties that are causing predicaments here, we do have the Nine of Pentacles and that card unfortunately has a, a very heavy role here in this, uh, in this week and it kind of points that you should uh, restrict yourself only of conserving and uh, uh, stabilizing your current position rather than aiming for new positions. I mean, your position is already jeopardized here one way or another and you have to do whatever you can in order to uh, sustain it, in order to uh, basically not allow anybody else to knock you off that place and to take your place instead. So this card here plays a role of that you shouldn't be overconfident that, you know, even if it is threatened, it is strong enough to, uh, your position is strong enough to endure on its own. It isn't. So you have to do what is necessary here and it has to be immediate um, reaction to the hostile activity that it is threatening either your career place or either your relationship place. Advice from the Tarot, Ten of Swords, literally says no mercy whatsoever. You shouldn't have any remorse for that person, nor pity, nor, as I said, remorse or fear. Your actions should be definitive. Your actions 
uh, to the person that it is hostile to you and to your relationship or towards your career. Your actions should be irreversible as well. Like I said, you need to make the world know that these people are frauds, that these people are, <clears throat> are there because of you, etc, uh, etc. Et and that could very well be that, uh, let's say career-wise, a someone really messes up with a project of theirs and they will try to kind of like uh, glue the error or the mistake, the mess on your back and to make you uh, look guilty for the mess itself. So you, your reaction should be very hard, very determined, without any remorse of pity, commiseration or fear toward that person. Your decisions uh, regarding that situation should be irrevo irrevocable and your actions should be irreversible. So the next, uh, what we are going to take a look at, this is the Lenormand reading, and the Lenormand reading is going to show us a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid. All right. So the first card that we do have, this is going to be the fox. And uh, the fox is associated with lies, cunning, clever, and as well, co-worker or a worker. Then we do have the broom and the whip. And this card is about competition, is about revenge as well. It is a, about wrangles, disputes. So we do have here a confirmation from the Lenormands that that will be a dispute either in between you and a competition or in between you and a rival. And then we do have the boat. And the boat is associated with risk adventure or it is associated with traveling or afar so that could be a co-worker from afar uh, somewhere that you are not living at or it could be a, a co-worker uh, that you are arguing with them for a, a very risky maneuver that either the project uh, is about to take or you want to make in order to make the project happen so you have to be prepared for some clashes in your career field <clears throat> so that being said, Capricorns, uh, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 31st to January 6th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, guys, this was just a general reading for Capricorn star sign and is going to resonate in a different level for every single uh, different Capricorns. Uh, <clears throat> if you want uh, your situation to be analyzed just like I did for the examples in this video, uh, then you have to go for a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.